The most frustrating, uh, exciting, and demanding fish I ever caught called a New Guinea bass, and it's not spelled New Guinea, it's N-U-I-G-I-N-I. -I. It's called the New Guinea black bass. And I spent five weeks in Australia in 87. We did some television shows and fishing over a place with a guy named Rod Harrison, the leading writer down there. And they play, those Australians will play tricks on their mother, and you have to watch them. They're always, I mean, we spent weeks in the outback and all, and they, I got with the program real quick. Anyway, uh, we're going to go to New Guinea, and they said the biggest, baddest, meanest fish in the world lives in New Guinea in the river, in the river mouths right inside from the ocean. It's called a New Guinea bass, and they said it is the most ferocious thing, and actually it's in the same family as the Kubera snapper and Lujanus family, and it has dog, sharp canine dog teeth in it, and they claimed it hid under bushes and all fall down in the in the river and it darts out and grabs something and grabs back and said if you can keep it out of the tree for two minutes you it gives up but it's it's really a furious two minutes well they went on and on and on about this so we went up there we flew into this uh into the, over this jungle and they had a hole in the, tr in the jungle where they built a uh, they called it a cottage but i wouldn't call it that but it's something we could sleep in there was a bunch of women and men down there so ugly the tide wouldn't take them out. And they had bones in their noses and feathers in their hair and all. And I, thought, I don't know if this is the right place or not. And then we landed. So that night, Rod says, I want you to help me put some line on reels. And he was using light trolling reels. And one was 40 pound and one was 60 pound. And I helped him put this on. I thought he's playing a joke on me to tell me how ferocious they were. Then he took all the hooks off the big reel, the big plugs and threw them away. And I said, what's wrong with them? He said, they're not strong enough. I really thought they were setting me up for a joke. I said, put, so we, the next morning we get in the boat going down this Kulu River and I notice he's, <laughs> he's got this 40 and 60 pound outfit with the heavy lure, uh, hooks on the lures. I only got 20 pound tests with them. And I had a sailfish rod, which I thought was going to be more than adequate. But we get to the first tree, and Rod says, yeah, okay, they pulled up, and Dean Butler, who's now a famous fisherman, uh, was a kid then, and he had, he was running the motor, a 20-foot boat. He pulls up, he puts it in neutral, and Rod said, have a go. I said, no. I said, you have a go. He said, no, you have a go. I said, I ain't going to you go, because I, now I was beginning to think maybe they were telling the truth. So Rod gets up, and he's one of the strongest people I've ever met. He took his pliers and locked a star drag down, threw this big lure into near this tree, and this green thing came out and grabbed it. And he yelled to Dean, hit it, Dean, and Dean turned, put the motor in reverse, and they're trying to drag this fish out of this tree with the motor, with the line snapped like a rifle shot. Well, I'm getting that 20 pound stuff off my fly line so fast, you can't believe it. I went right straight to 40 pound with a piece of 50 pound shot. Well, to get to the next tree, that sunken tree, and I'm not quite ready, so Rod makes another cast with 50 pound. Well, this fish ran back in a tree, and we could not break 50 pound. We had to find to cut it. We're now at the third tree, and I'm ready. I ain't never been such prepared for a fish in my life. I got, I got a number 13 line. I got a sailfish rod. I got a 40 pound test leader right straight up to a 50 piece pound to a, to a big deceiver about that long. So. Dean pulls up, puts the motor neutral, and I threw the fly in there, and this fish came out, and I set the hook, and I said, hit it, Dean, and I clamped down, and this fish just burned a, right, a white fiction grew right across. I could not hold the fish. Got me back in the tree, finally got out of that, got to, couldn't get the fly back, retied, went to the next tree, and by now I'd learned, and um, when I threw it, he was, Dean's got it in neutral again. I threw the fly in. This big green thing ran out. When I set the hook, I wrapped the line twice around the fly reel. He drug the fish out with a 40 horsepower motor into open water. And for two minutes, it was the worst fighting fish. Ever. After two minutes, it gave up. But it was the damnedest two minutes I ever had on a fly rod. Uh, the biggest fish I caught was only 38 pounds. And I think only about 10 or 12 people have caught them on flies to date. But, um, and they call it a river Rambo, which is a real good name for it. But it really is the strongest fish I've ever caught.